morning, you guys. Today is a Friday, and yeah, it's a very busy Friday. Actually, a very busy weekend, all in general. Actually, the whole month of July is pretty full of uh, Salted Road events, Arbonne events, all of the above, which is a really good sign for both businesses. Right now I'm on my way to Orange Theory, which if you guys have not heard of what that is, it's a workout class that is science-based. So basically wear this uh, heart rate monitor. You can wear one on your wrist. I have one on my chest right here, um, but it monitors your heart rate the whole time. And the whole idea is that if you stay in the orange zone, your body will actually burn those calories that you burn during the workout for the next few days. They have like all these different levels, like if you're um, your heart rate is at like a steady state or whatever it's like green and then um, when you start to push harder it turns orange um, and that's when you're like uncomfortable but it's still manageable and you can do that for a couple minutes at a time sometimes the red zone is when you're <laughs> pushing really hard they call that all out um, and usually that's only like 30 seconds to a minute to maybe a minute and a half but I really like it because I've never been a cardio person and um, they do have some strength training but there's like mostly cardio so it's a lot of treadmill and also a rower so sorry I'm talking really fast I'm trying to get this information out as fast as possible because I didn't want this all to be about orange theory but I really really love it this isn't sponsored at all I pay for it I just wanted to share that I really like it I burn a lot of calories I get a good workout that's what I'm doing right now it's 7 13 um, my class is at 7.30 and then I have to go drop off, um, pretty much every week I drop off a packet of all of my financials to my bookkeeper. So he does bookkeeping for Garrett and I. He does Garrett's real estate company and then he does, uh, which doesn't take very long. Garrett's stuff is really simple. He mostly does Salted Road because a lot of money comes in and out and it's it gets complicated. That would stress me out way too much, so that's one of the best decisions I've made is to hire a bookkeeper. Um, that's not my strength. I'm better at just doing the job and printing stuff off and giving it to him, so that's what I do. Um, so he runs all the reports and everything on QuickBooks, and I need to bring him a package for that today. He also tracks Arbon and he tracks YouTube, which those are also really simple. There's not much going on there. So um, yeah, so I'm doing that, and then what's up to that? Hmm. I just have to run a lot of errands. So I have an event tomorrow for Salted Road that is decently long. It's like an hour away, so that's part of the reason it seems longer. So I have to go prep for um, that and get some more products for it, but I just served two days this week at our Oli Ortho location in Olympia. So I still have some leftover products, so I don't need to buy that much, just top it off a little bit. I need to do laundry today. Um, I think there's a few other errands I need to run and then I'm going to and lastly I have an Arbonne event that is uh, two hours away <laughs> which sucks because I have to be up early tomorrow but um, it's actually for a girl on my team so she's coming she's just gonna be late so I'm basically starting it um, and then when she gets there, I think I'm gonna leave so that I can finish getting the trailer ready and everything um, And so I'm not up super late tonight for tomorrow. So that's pretty much the plan for today um, I'm gonna try not to talk your ear off anymore and let's just get the day started Okay, I'm a sweaty mess, so I'm using Arbonne's makeup remover wipes I don't have makeup on, but actually it's called cleansing today. And I have to go talk to people in public now, so I don't wanna look crazy. Oh, man. Orange Theory kicks my butt. Orange Theory kicks my butt every time. So they always mix things up. It's never like the exact same thing, or at least I haven't seen the exact same thing yet, and I've been to maybe like six or seven classes so far. And I have to say that was my least favorite class. I still got a good workout, 
and that's great. But like I kind of hated it the whole time. It was a, a benchmark class, which I don't know why they call it benchmark. I don't know if that's like their term, but it was just kind of like supersets. Like you do one workout right after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. Which they, I guess that's all of Orange Theory is supersets, but a benchmark, I don't know. You would like up your incline every time and keep running more. We had to run a mile, which to runners, it's like nothing. But to not runners, that's like death. Me, not runner, not a runner. <laughs> I hate running so much. And normally it's like just uh, intervals where you like sprint and then you jog and then you walk and then you sprint and jog walk, whatever. I can do that. I can't run a mile. I hate endurance, but anyway, I got the workout in so that's good, but not my favorite. So right now I just came to Trader Joe's because um, it's right next to Orange Theory. And I haven't been here in a very long time, but they have my favorite cashew butter. It's so good. And I haven't had it in like probably a year, but it's really good on apples and on bananas. It's like the best snack ever. So I'm gonna go get that and I'll show you guys what it is. Okay, mini grocery haul because I can. First of all, I went to Zoe Juice Bar and got this smoothie that I have no idea what it's called. I think Energizer. Mmm, really good. It has like berries in it and other stuff. But um, I got some sweet potato crackers. I've never had these before. I just wanna try them. Um, they're Trader Joe's brand, so that'll be good. I think I'm gonna try them right now. And then these are kind of pricey, but I'm telling you, it's literally the best thing ever. Like, I'm obsessed. They're eight dollars for each one, but the Trader Joe's brand is the best, like better than all the other ones. And then I got one more thing. Oh, I got some red lentil pasta that I wanna try. Cause I'm a pasta person, but pasta just bloats me like none other. So I wanna try red lentil, uh, brown rice, is better than regular like gluten pasta but um, brown rice still kind of bloats me I think my body just doesn't really like it so I'm gonna try red lentil to see if that works because I don't want to give up pasta I want to find something that works I just dropped off all the information to our bookkeeper and now I'm at the bank I just need to transfer some money make a deposit um, find my checkbook the bank just opened so I got here at the perfect time but I have my planner and I'm just gonna make sure I have everything done that I need to get done while I'm out of the house right now before I go home and shower. And then I have Orange Theory on here, done, drop the paper off, done. And deposit and stuff, that's right now, so I'll be good. So I'm gonna write up a check really quick. Obviously not gonna show you, cause, mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the bank. Just got home, Garrett showering while I'm waiting for him to finish showering so I can shower. I'm gonna have a little bit of this cashew butter with the banana. I did forget that the oils are always separated on the top when you first get it. So you do have to mix it with your spoon. Otherwise it's really wet. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love cashews. Any of you guys love cashews? Cashew butter, it's like, I mean, it just tastes like cashews. So I guess if you don't like cashews, you might not be a fan, but it's so sweet. And for being like natural, it's just the best thing. Oh, I can't even like remember what it tastes like. I just remember that I love it. Mm. It's just as good as I remembered. Good morning to Garrett. Good morning, good morning. Eating his spoonful of honey a day. I need it. Or spoonful else I'm gonna... of honey a day keeps the allergies away. Very true. Or else I'm going to sneeze like a madman. So this is, um, he actually did this last year and then he kind of got out of the habit, but he has really bad allergies to pollen and stuff. So if you get local honey, it helps, right? Oh, yeah, it really does. <clears throat> so does it make it go away or just helps it? Not 100%, but it just gets your body used to it. So they just say to ingest like a tablespoon of it every single day. Hmm. So, yum. Just to keep it in your system. But it's like, it's like thicker than syrup. So it's hard to like, like swallow. Thicker than normal honey, or it's just like honey? I mean, it's like syrup. It's like yeah. you're drinking syrup, but it's like thick, thick. You so could wash it down swallow. with milk. No. <laughs> Not with milk. 
Water. Yeah. Two showings. <laughs> Two showings. Work. Uh, work. Then go to Colton's house because you have an Arbonne party. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're funny. You're just sitting there behind the camera. Yeah, I can't show them what I look like right now. Why? Because I look crazy. Well, get me out of there. So it just hit me that I'm like really, really tired. I haven't drank any of my fizz today, so I made a fizz that I'm gonna drink right now as I run it through errands. Um, it's 12.37 right now. I definitely just like took a couple hours and just sat on the couch and chilled for a second. It's been a busy week and it's gonna be a busy weekend, so um, I needed a little bit. I needed a little bit of rest. Um, I've been very tired. That's not a pity party. Just like if your body needs a second, give your body a second. So, gotta get my head in the game again. I'm gonna drink the fizz, get more energy, and then um, I need to go run to Office Depot right now, get some ink. Ink's so freaking expensive. I hate spending money on it, but we go through so much ink, so we have to buy that a lot. I'm buying some, um, few more milks and stuff to top off for our supply for tomorrow. I don't know how busy it's gonna be. We're there for a little bit longer than we normally are at an event, so I just, I have no idea. Um, and getting some ice and stuff, and then kind of prep the trailer a little bit. I have the Mercedes today. Um, a lot of the stuff I need to prep the trailer is actually in the truck, which Garrett has, but since I'm driving two hours later for the event, I wanted to take the Mercedes for tonight. So anyway, it's gonna mean that later I need to do some more work instead of doing it all right now to prep for the trailer, but that's fine. So I'm gonna get this stuff done and then uh, I didn't get ready. I don't have any makeup on right now. I have eyelash extensions so it looks like I have mascara on so that's good enough. Um, I took a shower but it's still kind of wet. It's just natural drying. Um, I'm gonna get ready later before I leave for that event and so I can look presentable then but I didn't feel like doing that now. You know, didn't feel like it. <laughs> I didn't even update you guys on this, but um, so that meeting I was supposed to do tonight or that Arbonne event actually, I was supposed to help lead it. I was worried about having a late night because I had so much to get done today. Really relieved because my friend ended up rescheduling her appointment. She's like, I can do it. So I got to stay home and catch up on all my emails, everything else. Got one of my paychecks here for one of the events. And I also need to put water in the trailer. That's something that I can't forget. <laughs> later in the day now as you can tell by the lack of light in our house right now it's like 9 9 10 I don't know it's shortly after 9 um, I'm gonna prep a quick salad so that I can take that tomorrow I have a salted road event all day which will be good um, but I always get really hungry obviously so 
I'm gonna prep a salad and then I'm actually gonna wash my face and get ready for bed and go to sleep because I gotta get up early. It's gonna be a long day. So um, I don't know if there's enough footage for this video. Hopefully there was. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.